The next story I have for you is uh, an interesting one because it's not something that I ever really expected to be talking about. Um, and <laughs> and so, so let me switch over to it now. So this is uh, so this story is about the Boring Company, and they recently won a bid in Chicago to uh, to build a multi-billion-dollar high-speed express train to from downtown to Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, which I believe is the busiest uh, in the United States. That is crazy to me because this is a company that ha- I mean they haven't even actually got a pod uh we haven't seen a pod running we haven't seen a you know so many uh, of the components here are still to be built um so it's kind of crazy now uh, currently this drive or this this ride uh when the train that does exist takes about 40 minutes um and the new one will will go um in about 12 minutes is what they say it's an 18 mile journey um so you know that's pretty awesome that'll save you a, a ton of time um, and that it will travel with speeds up to 150 miles per hour. Now, there were some other big notable companies that were bidding on this, um, and they lost out. Uh, and I think it's largely due to cost. So we'll talk about that here in a second. Now, there were some other videos that came out, though, uh, notably this one from The Boring Company, which shows a Tesla inside of the track. And so you can see here, this is this is inside of The Boring Company. And it's on that kind of electric skate, uh, just heading down this this tunnel. I'll put a link to this in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, that that was a surprise, and it led to this next bit of news related to this is that Tesla is actually going to be building these pods, and that they're reportedly uh, based on the Model X platform. So if you forget, um, they're going to carry I think between eight and sixteen passengers per pod. And uh, they'll be entirely autonomous. You know, you'll you'll hop in, it'll go down, um, and, and and it'll head off. So, pretty amazing stuff. And the fact that Tesla is going to be involved also means that this could you know be a huge boon for them in terms of profitability and, and a new revenue stream. Uh, because if they're actually able to pull this off, this could be a giant. Uh, th- this company could be worth a ton of money. So we'll talk about that as well in just one second here. So uh, these guys here over at City Lab talk about this stuff a lot, and I thought it was really interesting. Um, this recent article they had, calling it uh, the the Express Loop, the craziest thing about it being the price. So it got me looking at the other options out there, and I found this New York Times article which talked about the most expensive mile of subway track on Earth. Now you can imagine New York is probably a difficult place to build these things. Now. This one, this article has to do with um, a, a, a mile of track, or I think a, a couple miles of track, that in the budget, they had 200 more people than anyone there knew what they were doing. Um, and so it has ballooned. Um, this is the East Side Access uh, Long Island Railroad Project. Um, it has ballooned to $12 billion, um, which comes out to about $3.5 billion for each mile of track. So it's not a super long track, but after an audit, they're, 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 you know, found some insane stuff going on with this. And so here is like a typical, you know, tunneling uh, type project that, 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 that cities are used to. Um, now, there's another one that they talked about in this article saying that the, it's called the Second Avenue Subway on Manhattan's Upper East Side. And uh, the 2015 extension of the November 7 line to Hudson Yards also cost far above the average at $2.5 billion and $1.5 billion uh, per mile, respectively. So you've got 3.5, 2.5, 1.5 per mile, a uh, billion. And if you compare that to what uh, what they're trying to do here, it's pretty pretty amazing the contrast. Let's take a look at it. So the boring project overall cost for an 18 mile is it 18 mile 18 mile journey is um, is that right? 18 miles? Yeah, 18 mile journey is uh, one billion. So if you break that down per mile. Uh, you're looking at a pretty insane amount here. So there's that East Side Access project, the Second Avenue subway, and the 2015 extension of the Number Seven line uh, from the New York Times article that we just mentioned. And then you have the the Tesla Chicago O'Hare, O'Hare route um, at the cost per mile of less. It's 0.1 billion. Now, if you look at that from a cost savings standpoint, 
the Tesla project here is saving almost 98% over that east side access project. Now, granted, that's a, you know the most expensive one. There were all these issues, but you know, seeing the other projects here, it's not uncommon. Um, it's not crazy to to imagine that. So, if they can do this, if they can pull this off, uh, I think it's going to be a huge boon for for not only the boring company but Tesla as well. I think it's going to play kind of to both of their strengths and in their favor. And so I, I was blown away um, the more I dug into this. When I first heard it, I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. But then I heard all these other little pieces connecting and that's when I wanted to dig into the data. Now today, there was an article on Tesserati um, because there was an analyst firm, um, Burn, Burnberg analyst, <laughs> that was saying that the Boring Company could be worth as much as 16 billion um, if it completes this ambitious project. Now. The analyst stated that uh, his $16 billion estimate for the Boring Company's potential uh, is provided that it succeeds in the Chicago transport line. It was taken from figures of the uh, Channel Tunnel project, which connects England and France. And here's a quote from the, the, uh, the analyst. On conservative assumptions and taking into account similar businesses like Getlink, formerly Eurotunnel, we estimate the potential enterprise value could be as high as $16 billion. With Tesla set to become a key supplier to the Boring Company, it will likely mean an early opportunity to take a stake in the business, potentially without cash consideration. So, big, big stuff, and I'm really, um, you know, I mean, it's just great. It, it, it's great that not, not only it, are we um, at, at a place where uh, these things are actually happening. I mean, you were talking, they won the contract. Now that now they have the green light to go. Um, that, you know, all the future outs, uh, outlooks, if they can pull this off, show also a uh, tremendous opportunity to really, you know, not just make these companies great, which is fine, but but to help us switch over to more, f more sustainable forms of transportation and then eventually energy. So I'm curious what you guys think about those. Uh, leave me a comment down below um, if you're interested in this stuff at all. I, I, I hope to get a ride on the boring uh, driving, the boring tunneling machine. It was part of the referral program. I haven't heard anything about it yet. Um, and I know that they're going to be doing public access rides uh, up in LA sometime soon. So I hope to hope to attend one of those. So let me know what you guys think about that or what you want to see um, when I get to go do that.